Hey guys, so Danny from Legend Gaming, in this video I will be telling you if the Mammoth Gun is good or not, and really if it's worth unlocking at all. As you can see right there, I get that nasty headshot with the gun, and that's sort of the main upside to this weapon, is the range. I'm going to hop right into the stats of this gun, sort of like a mini weapon review, but I'll talk more about it at the end, about whether I think you should unlock it or not. So this weapon does 100 max damage at 35 meters, so you're going to begin that one-shot kill out to 35 meters. That's more than most of the bolt-action sniper rifles. It does 45 minimum damage at 80 meters. And by the way, guys, keep in mind that these stats are for console. Um, console and PC stats are different now, and this weapon is absolute crap on PC. It's absolute crap, except for hardcore. It's absolute crap. And it is not worth using whatsoever. It, that's just my opinion. If you guys want me to do a separate PC video, don't forget to tell me down below in the comments. But continue into the stats. So that also means that this weapon will be getting a one-shot headshot out until around 70 meters, which is also awesome. This weapon also has a burst fire mode, which you'll see me use in certain situations in close quarters. If you know an enemy is about to round a corner, it's sometimes useful. But honestly, I find the recoil is so high on it that it's not really worth using. But it does fire at 550 rounds per minute in burst, and it fires all three shots. Now, regularly, you can pretty much just shoot like around 100 rounds per minute. Um, it's a semi-auto weapon, so it's sort of dependent on when you pull the trigger, but the maximum is around 100 to 120 rounds per minute. Another downside for this weapon is, one, a leg shot only does 93 damage, and the iron sights. So the iron sights aren't great on this weapon especially when you're trying to hit targets in the chest and be extremely precise out to that 35 meter range being able to hit those enemies with the iron sights is a little bit hard honestly and to take that into account that it is a 93 damage if you hit a like shot and you won't be getting that one shot kill the iron sights are a decent downside now by far without doubt the biggest downside however with this weapon is the small magazine size of only three bullets and the slow reload. The reload's about 3.5 seconds, which is absolutely terrible. It's completely terrible. Um, this weapon could be kind of comparable to the double barrel shotgun. If you want a full comparison between those guns, again, don't forget to tell me down below in the comments. But yeah, that's the main downside of this weapon. Now, do I think you should? Do I think you should unlock this weapon? Personally, I do. This weapon is great on um, maps like Bank Job, Close Quarters maps, and even as you can see, I nailed that guy at range. This weapon is just extremely versatile, and it's an all-kit weapon. As you can see, I'm running the med kit here, but you could run armor with it. You could run C4 with it and play with it like a shotgun. Um, it's just a great weapon, and considering that you only need to get like those six skulls, and it's a pretty easy unlock, I would definitely recommend doing that. If you guys need an unlock guide, as you can see, I got the fast reload for it as one of the refutation perks, and that makes it an absolutely insane weapon, uh, because it basically cuts the reload in half. If you guys want to know how to unlock this weapon, I'll link an unlock guide, and don't forget to go and check out my channel for much more content on everything Betrayal DLC. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.